Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this classic look with a red glossy lip. I'm going to show you two lip options at the end of this video. One for matte lovers and one for glossy lovers. This look is perfect coming up to Christmas or for whenever you really want to wear it. It's such a classic look and anyone can pull this off. You can obviously change up the lip and just keep the eye makeup or vice versa. But I think red lips are so pretty on everyone and they're so classic. You can just wear an all black outfit and chuck on a red lip and you'll look like you've made such an effort. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell, hopefully you can, but I just got a ring light. Hopefully the quality of my videos from now on will be a bit better than the ones before. It also means I can film at any time of night so if you guys want to see first impressions of foundations and stuff then just let me know because I will now be able to do it now that I have my ring light. Um, yeah I'm so happy with the way it looks. Please let me know in the comments below if you like it or what you want me to change. But um, I'm also in a little bit of a different setup today. I thought I would change it up and make it a bit different. It's something different to look at rather than my bedroom wall. So don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. If you want to see how to get this classic makeup look then just stay tuned. So I've already primed my skin using the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm and I use this all the time when I go out and my makeup tends to stay on really well. And when I want my foundation to look nice and fresh I use this Lumi Magique Primer by L'Oreal and it just looks like this. It's just like a white... It's just like a white shiny primer and this is a good um, dupe for the Becca um, what's it called? backlight priming filter I think my face is going red because I'm rubbing it but just ignore that with the Smashbox pore minimising primer because my pores are a bit of an issue for me so I like to take that just about that much and I'll rub that between my hands and I'll pat it in mainly in this area also on my nose, my chin and my forehead. For foundation, I just recently bought this. It's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the colour Ivory. Um, I got it in Ivory because I've actually got a white foundation so I can mix it in when I've not got tan on. It's kind of like a middle shade that I would wear when I've got hardly any fake tan on but I can wear this with tan and just bronze up a little bit. So I'm going to use this for my base. So I've got about one and a half pumps on the back of my hand there. And this is a really good foundation, I would recommend it. Where the hell did she go? This is a really good foundation, I would recommend it if you're thinking about trying it. But I'm going to mix in a bit of this Manic Panic um, Dream Tone. It's like just like a white foundation. Um, I think this works best. I'm just going to put a full pump of that in there. This does work best with like liquidy foundations because it's quite thick and it makes your foundation thick so I like to use it with the um, Luminous Silk foundation or like face and body or something like that I wouldn't really recommend mixing it with something like Studio Fix because it just makes it really thick like you can see so I'm going to just dot that around my face sorry that I'm like using my monitor as like a mirror I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend that in I'm going to go in with my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. I recently just got a new one and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. I was trying to hold out to get the shape tape but it didn't come back in stock on QVC and I just like couldn't wait anymore. So if you know anywhere you can get Tarte in the UK that's not QVC then please let me know because I really want to try that concealer. So I'm first just putting that under my eyes and in this dark bit in here. And then I'm going to Put it on some blemishes that I have down here. I'm also going to highlight that as well. So, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender again and blend that in. So, to get a perfect skin look, I like to bake my under eyes, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. So, I'm going to use this Universal Powder, Invisible Loose Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. I actually ordered this thinking it was the translucent powder, and I'm so sure that it said it was translucent on my order, but it's not. If any of you have tried this powder before, the HD powder, that's the kind of powder that it feels like. It feels like it feels really thin and like 
it kind of I prefer the translucent powder to this one but and I've got my old beauty blender here it's like all chewed up and horrible I'm just gonna keep this so I can use it for this method so I'm just gonna tap out under my eyes to make sure there's no creases and then I'm gonna pick up that powder on the end of the beauty blender and then put that under my eyes I'm gonna set my smile lines like bake them so that my foundation doesn't increase in there because I always suffer with that suffer so I'm gonna go like this and puff out my cheeks and then put the bake down there just so that I'm not setting any creases that are already there you look stupid while you're doing it but it works for my eyebrows recently I've been really liking doing them with powder so I've been taking this shade from the Laura Lee Violet Voss palette that shade Bumps it's just like a really dark ashy brown and I've been using my MAC 266 and I take the powder really lightly first of all and I'll take that through the front of my eyebrow and then I'll literally do like a tiny wee line and then I'll brush upwards and I try not to put too much product in the front of my eyebrows I said it before but I don't really like how my eyebrows are shaped under here so I like to just take a little bit more of the powder on the brush and then draw a line so it's a bit lower down there and it's a bit straighter just like that and then I'll go and fill in the tail and overdraw that slightly about halfway along just so that front bit's not getting too much product really easy to get that fade in the front there with a powder because you can just literally blend it in like you would when you're doing your eyeshadow there's one eyebrow done and one eyebrow not done for the eyes I'm just going to keep it really simple and classic I'm first going to go in with my Lar just on a flat brush and put that all over my eyelids. My transition shade I'm going to take Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek and I'm just using the Mani MUA palette because I don't actually have that as a single eyeshadow but you can get it as a single eyeshadow um, and I'm going to use my Sigma E40 so a transition shade is just to help you blend your eyeshadows it sort of is like a close to skin tone colour that is just going to make it a lot easier to blend all your other shadows on top because you won't have to do so much work because there's already a shadow down there for them to blend into you're not just trying to blend them into your own skin tone so next I'm going to put another shade in the crease and this is Makeup Beat Creme Brulee the Morphe M441 and I'm just going to put that on the outer corner and then blend it into the crease I'm then going to take Coco Bear which is just this warm brown on a MAC 217 and I'm going to pick up no, hardly, I'm going to hardly pick up any product and put that just on the outer corner and in the crease again. I'm going to go back in with the um, Sigma E40 that I used with the transition colour with no extra product and just blend that corner out. I'm going to go in with a pencil brush, this is a Zoeva 230 and Americano from Makeup Geek which I know I've used in a tutorial before it's just sort of like a plummy dark brown and I'm going to pick up the tiniest tiniest little bit of that on the very point of the brush tap off the excess and then I'm going to put that sketch out that crease now I want to keep this eye matte but if you want to use a shimmer then this is where you can do that but I'm just going to go back in with a brush and mylar that I use to set the whole lid and just put that on my eyelid here where I've not got any colour just to brighten that up Went and do liquid liner I'm going to do this off camera but I'm literally just going to do a simple wing I'm not going to do anything fancy so I will go and put that on because I literally cannot film myself doing it and I will be right back so the lashes I'm going to use today are these ones from Huda Beauty obviously I've worn them before and I love the look of these with this kind of makeup look because they're so wispy and PC but they're really dramatic at the same time so they're so nice with like a winged liner and a nice bold lip guys 
something terrible just happened. I just dropped my palette. Look. Can you see it? Can you see? Oh, oh no. So that's those eyelashes on. As you can see, they are dramatic, but they're still sort of wispy and wearable and look nice with a winged liner. Now move on and finish the face before I go on to the under eyes because I don't want to mess it up when I'm doing my face. So I'm going to brush off the powder that's sitting on my face. I'm going to go back to an oldie but a goodie, the MAC Give Me Some Bronzer. I'm going to try and use this, but I'm not sure how it's going to look because I'm pale. As always, I'm going to go in with my contour kit. I'm getting this shade and light palette for Christmas, so I will let you know what I think of that when I receive it. It's a mixture of these two. This one's a wee bit too warm for me just now because I don't have any fake tan on. So I'm, I'm going to just pick up a small amount to start off with because I always make the mistake of going in with too much right at the start. I like to focus a lot of the contour like at the back of my hairline and then bring it down my forehead just so it's like lighter in the middle. Obviously I do bleaching. I've actually not used this blush in months, like maybe even years. <laughs> but this is MAC Melba and I think this is the first ever blush I actually bought. So I'm going to pick that up on the same blush brush. Not too much because I'm not sure how pigmented this is going to be. And then I'm going to put that on the apples. I don't want too much blush because I'm going to put on a red lip so I don't want it to be too extreme. Do my under eyes. I'm not going to do too much under my eyes. I'm just going to do like a light shadow. Because I think it looks really pretty having just the wing and the bold lashes without having too much going on underneath. I'm going to take creme brulee, that one there, that under my eyes just as a transition shade into sort of so that there's something under there. I'm gonna go in with this brush that I always use in every single video. But they're so handy to have these. Just a little um, smudger brush and Americano right on the tip of that brush. And this is just gonna define the waterline. I'll zoom you in a little bit. So I'm gonna put that right underneath the waterline just on the outer third. For the waterline to keep that nice and bright, I'm gonna go in with MAC Fascinating Eye Coal, which is just a white instead of a nude because I want it to be really bright and I'm going to put that in the waterline and that's what that should look like none other than champagne pop for my highlight you can apply as much or as little of this as you like I like a bright highlight but if you don't then you don't need to apply as much or you don't have to apply any highlight at all if that's what you want to do pop a little bit, I'm going to go in with the sleek solstice palette and I'm going to use this peachy colour I put that on the high points and on the apples. Really just blending it over all of it to be honest. And brush away that bake before we start on the star of the show which is the red lip. I'm gonna go in and finish off and settle down all the powders using the Mario Badescu rose water. Oh how long has this been like this? So this is the finished look without the red lip. If you want to go ahead and just add a nude, then now is the time to do so. But I'm going to show you my favourite red lip products. So I can't actually find the lip liner that I want to use, which is so annoying. Um, I would te I would typically go in with MAC Stone, which is like a greyish um, lip liner just to define my lips. But I'm going to go in with my eyebrow pencil. <laughs> this is um, the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Chocolate. And it's just to like, I think it looks really nice to have an ashy sort of outline when you're going to overdraw your lips and use red because it makes it look more real and like an actual shadow. I'm going to use it basically just underneath here and on my cupid's bow to sort of define them and make them look a bit bigger. I don't really need help making my bottom lip look bigger but I need to overdraw my top lip. So how I overdraw my lips is, I don't know if you can see, well it's hard to tell when I've got foundation all over them. But the pink of my lip stops here, but I have a sort of white line that goes up to here and I just draw on the outside of that white line rather than on the pink bit because that allows you to have more space and makes it look a bit bigger without drawing like halfway up to your nose. Put in with MAC Red, MAC Red Lip Pencil. 
Mine says show up. And I'm gonna just line the rest of my lips and I'm gonna go over that line as well. My favourite matte red lipstick is this Pure Colour Envy in Restless. It's the Kendall Jenner colour with Estee Lauder. And it's this orangey, looks really orange there but it's more of a red, it's like an orangey red colour. And I love this lipstick. If it's still available, I don't know if it was limited edition or not, but if it is still available I would highly recommend going and getting it because it is such a nice red colour and every time I wear it I always get so many compliments. On the top lip and on the bottom lip how it's got like that darker shadow, like it just makes the overdraw look a lot nicer with an ashier colour rather than just the red. So you can just finish the look here if you want to go for a bright matte red lip. But my favourite look at the minute is a glossy red lip. And for that I'm going to use these Be Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquers from Smashbox. Now I got this last year and I've not actually worn it in ages. But I think the colour is so nice and these lipsticks are amazing. They sort of stain your lips so when the glossiness goes away you're just left with something like this. Just like a matte red. And the colour is so nice and a glossy red lip is like the prettiest thing ever. This doesn't actually say the colour on it, but I think it's in the shade Firecracker. That is your finished look with your glossy red lip. Obviously you have to watch getting this on your teeth, but I just think this I just think this makeup is so classic and it's so nice. I love wearing that, it just enhances your features, like makes your lips look really plump and juicy and it makes your eyes look really big and stand out. This look is perfect coming up to Christmas and New Year. Um, I'm probably going to be wearing this like Christmas Day, New Year's Day, Christmas Eve, Tuesday afternoon. If you like this look please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Um, please leave me some requests below in the comments. I will see you again soon. I showed you two colours, two matte. I showed you two colour options in this, in this, oh my f***. I'm going to show you two options for a lip. But for snail.